Hey everybody, Dirk Knutson with the Hillsborough Herald. I'm also with my good friends from La Mexteca, Oaxaca, downtown on Main Street at 230 East Main. And we've got the GoFundMe going and the customers are here and I just wanted to have Lucia and Destiny say hello to all of you. And guys, how's it going? I know it's been difficult, but where are we at? How's it going right now? Well, thank you for everybody that donated and that has came all week and support us for lunch, breakfast, dinner. Thank you, everybody. We got a lot of new customers coming down. So who's behind the food? This lady here, right? I know you've been going through some difficult times, like a lot of people involved with this fire, but we're trying to pull people together. It's looking good. We're going to get over the finish line and hopefully you guys can stay here for a long time. But Tell us how you're feeling about things and just what you have to say to people about your restaurant and what's going on, Lucia. <laughs> Anything's fine. Thank you. Okay, well, the principle is very, I very appreciate. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for the text messages, for oh. messages, for the hugs. Thank you for support my family, my kids, my husband. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. And. I'm very, very appreciated. I, I, I don't have words to say. Thank you, Dirk. Yeah. Dirk? Dirk. You got me. <laughs> I'm yes. Sorry. My English is not good. It's okay. Your the English is plenty I, good. Yeah. The only thing I, I do is just cook. Kitchen. So That's you, my work. When you guys came down here last fall, and uh, we got a chance to meet and try the food, and uh, we were also happy to have such a great Latino owned business. And then I didn't know your story, and now I'm learning about your story. Lucia and getting to know the kids, Destiny and uh, your daughter Lucia. Americans aren't used to a girl named after her mom. So do you call her Lucia or Lucy or? Lucia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like we have men usually have the son, we call him Junior, right? But in meeting them and Rafi who's here, Raphael's here and then Teresa's out here coloring the sidewalk and writing all this beautiful stuff. Anyway, people are raving about the food. We want you guys here and we need you here. So you guys keep doing your part and I'll do what I can to get our community. And, and I wanna thank everybody because there's been people coming from outside of Hillsborough and the news channel's been here and we don't know the future, right, Lucia? We don't, but we hope for a bright future. But we work for that, for that nice future. And um, it's my American dream that yep. why I'm here. Yep. And I'm gonna start by with my daughter who's yep. being charged maybe when ah. i'm not here maybe your daughter doesn't want that we'll see <laughs> we'll see if she but she can, can cook a little bit too yeah oh yeah she can do everything like like me and jose yeah. is and making some wonderful margaritas and he gave me a chalada and friday pescado. night down here margaritas on friday the chips and guacamole the mole sauce Tuesday. The grasshoppers, I, the jury's still out on the grasshoppers, but a lot of people are like them. Mm -hmm. So this food's all what you grew up cooking yes. and how your grandma and your family. And my mom, that, that's why I call La Mixteca Oaxaca. Yeah. It's empoderado. I'm powering a woman. Oh, generation okay. Generation from generation. Got it, got it. So the food is maybe a little different than what Americans might be used to when they think yes. of Mexican food, right? That's what we call it and we're all learning more about your culture my culture and your culture is awesome 